Hi, I'm Ronnie Harris, Mayor of the City of Gretna, and I would like to welcome you to our West Bank community. Today you'll have an opportunity to learn of our history and experience our lifestyle and culture. And now, sit back and relax and enjoy what the West Bank has to offer. Nestled on the west bank of the Mississippi River, you'll find a city rich in Louisiana history and culture. You'll find the city of Gretna. With its quaint streets, museums, restaurants, and unique architectural style, a visit to Gretna is one you are sure to delight in. The name Gretna is believed to have originated from the small town in Scotland called Gretna Green. There, the local blacksmith would perform quick marriages in the blacksmith shop. Today in Gretna, you can take a step back in time with a visit to Gretna's own Gretna Green Blacksmith Shop. Watch the blacksmith hit the hot iron, or if you'd like, try your own hand at it. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, you can plan your own wedding ceremony to take place in true Gretna Green tradition. Another historical site you'll want to see is the McDonoughville Cemetery, named for John McDonough, an educational philanthropist who purchased property, then divided the land into lots which he sold and leased. This area became known as the Village of McDonoughville. When John McDonough died in 1850, he was the wealthiest and largest property owner in Louisiana. His marble tomb can be seen today, enclosed by a cast iron fence. There are 36 public schools in New Orleans named after John McDonough, one of which is in Gretna. Just upriver from McDonoughville was the village of Gretna and the small village of Mechanicam. In 1913, the three areas were incorporated into the village of Gretna. And on August 20th, Gretna was proclaimed a city with John Arrett as the first mayor. The charm of a bygone era can still be seen today in this quaint and architecturally revitalized city. Restored cottages constructed in Victorian, Classical, and Creole styles line the streets of historic Gretna. One of the most impressive buildings is Gretna City Hall, which was formerly the Jefferson Parish Courthouse. Across from City Hall is the Jefferson Memorial Arch. The arch was dedicated in 1923 as a memorial to all the soldiers of Jefferson who fought for their country in battle. Just down the street from City Hall is the old Texas Pacific Depot, built during the turn of the century. Today it is restored and houses the Louisiana Railroad Museum. Just behind that is the old Southern Pacific Freight Depot, which is now the Gretna Visitor Center. Railroad memorabilia can be seen in both. A symphony to the eyes is St. Joseph's Catholic Church. Constructed in 1926, it is one of Gretna's most elaborate architectural monuments. Every March, Italian Catholics celebrate St. Joseph's Day by offering an altar to the patron saint. On the altar are vegetables, seafood, Italian pastries, breads, and statues of St. Joseph and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Fava beans are distributed as a reminder of the only food available during the Great Famine in Sicily from which this tradition was started. Mardi Gras is a celebration in Gretna, with the parade Grella, followed by several truck parades and lots of festivities. From its lively festivals to its abundant historical sites, Gretna has something for everyone. A visit to Gretna's museum complex is certain to enchant you. The David Crockett Fire Museum is an amazing step back to a time where horse-drawn steam pumpers pumped water from canals and ditches to battle blazes. Today, the David Crockett Volunteer Fire Company is the oldest continuously active volunteer fire company in the United States. On either side of the fire museum, there are two 19th century cottages. The Kitty Straley House, which is the only furnished Creole cottage in the New Orleans area, and the William D. White House, which was once the home of a local blacksmith and is now a reception center. Both homes were built in the 1840s. While in Gretna, treat your taste buds to one of the many area restaurants. You will be sure to satisfy any appetite with all of the local favorites. Mouthwatering fried shrimp and oysters, overstuffed po'boys, hot plate lunches, and generous cool crispy salads. Or perhaps you can refuel with a good cup of coffee and a fresh pastry at the Old Corner gas station, restored to a charming coffee shop, a favorite local gathering place. Gretna is a safe place to live, work, and play with many things to see and do. 
Discover Gretna and experience all its grandeur and style. Now that you've seen what we have to offer, I would like to personally invite you to visit our city. Whether it's to visit our historic district or eat at one of our great restaurants, Gretna has a lot to offer. We're located less than 15 minutes away from downtown New Orleans. We hope to see you soon. Stretched along Bayou Barataria and only 20 miles outside the city of New Orleans lies the town of Jean Lafitte. Overflowing with a myriad of activities, this prosperous Cajun town, named for pirate turned patriot Jean Lafitte, is worth its weight in gold. A mere 30 minutes from New Orleans, you can spend the day touring some of the most abundant wetlands in the United States. Watch the branches of moss-covered cypress trees drift lazily in the breeze, or witness the sudden splashing of a swamp gator. And if you're a bird lover, you can literally spend hours watching the skies and marshes of Lafitte, a place rated among the top three in the nation for bird watching. Outdoor activities abound in Lafitte. Take the family on a picnic, or spend the afternoon barbecuing, water skiing, or jet skiing. Charter a boat from one of the many area marinas and try your hand at catching any of the 60 species of fish that make their home in the waters of Lafitte. You'll be sure to find a pirate's share of shrimp, blue crab, and oysters to fill your nets. In a town where many still claim a distant ancestry to Jean Lafitte and his men, seafood is a way of life. Endless rows of shrimp and fishing boats cruise the waters of this booming seafood capital. Every day, thousands of pounds of fresh-from-the-net delicacies find their way onto the plates of seafood lovers everywhere. And you, too, can experience food at its finest right here in Lafitte. Whether it's hot-boiled crabs at the annual seafood festival, or a generous meal served in the quiet breezes of a bayou view porch, Lafitte is home to the best of Cajun cuisine, alive with taste, aroma, and perfection. And nothing goes better with Cajun food than a little Cajun dancing. Every weekend in Lafitte, you'll find a Fado Do where you can sway to the rhythms of an authentic Cajun band. Make a few friends and maybe pick up a new dance step or two along the way. If a quiet change of pace is what you're looking for, tucked away down a quiet lane, you'll find the perfect getaway. Another world of rest and relaxation awaits you in the elegantly appointed Victorian cottages of this Lafitte bed and breakfast. Take a leisurely stroll through the beautifully lush English gardens or relax by the pier. Whatever your pleasure, unwind in style at this stately inn tucked away among the oaks. Even with its close proximity and the hundreds of thousands of annual visitors to New Orleans each year, the town of Jean Lafitte remains a precious jewel among Crescent City locals and travelers alike. One venture into this lush, active environment and you'll find yourself instantly rewarded. A perfect getaway awaits you in this unique and special place. Hi, I'm Tim Kern, I'm mayor of town of Jean Lafitte. Now that you've seen some of what Lafitte has to offer, I want to personally invite you and your family to come down and experience a good time, whether it's going to one of the great seafood restaurants, a seafood festival, or the many other activities we have in this area. We are only 25 minutes from New Orleans. I'm asking you to come down and experience the town of Jean Lafitte for yourself. Thank you. Travel to the edge of Louisiana and you will find a great hidden treasure of fishing, recreation, nature, and history. There at the end of LA-1, or the beginning to locals, you will find the town of Grand Isle. A recreational wonder, Grand Isle has something for the entire family. A trip to the east side of the island will bring you to the State Park where you can climb to the top of the observation tower for a scenic overview of the charm and beauty of this barrier island. Camp, picnic, or spend the day at the beach, swimming, crabbing, or surf fishing. You can also fish from the park's 400-foot pier. 
With over 200 species of fish that make their home in the waters off the coast of the island, Grand Isle is certainly a fisherman's paradise. Whether you book a charter or fish from the old fishing bridge, it will soon become obvious why Grand Isle is rated one of the top 10 fishing spots in the United States. Grand Isle is also host to numerous fishing rodeos throughout the year, including the nation's oldest three-day rodeo, the International Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, held every July since 1921. If fishing isn't your game, a short boat ride can take you to the many other treasures of Grand Isle and its surrounding islands. Just across Barataria Pass on the island of Grand Terre is Fort Livingston, built to protect the Barataria route to New Orleans during the Civil War. The fort never saw action, but is an interesting bit of history worth a visit. Grand Terre was also home to the famous pirates, Jean and Pierre Lafitte, who conducted their notorious smuggling business in these waters. Their heritage lives on today with some of their descendants still making Grand Isle home. Today, Grand Isle is still a route of commerce and industry. Shrimpers and other fishermen can be seen carrying their cargo to New Orleans and other markets in the area. When shrimp season is open, you can see commercial boats, large and small, in the Gulf of Mexico and the bays and bayous surrounding Grand Isle. Another short boat ride will take you to Queen Bess Island. A restoration project of the wildlife and fisheries, Queen Bess Island is a nesting site for the once almost extinct brown pelican, Louisiana State Bird. This sanctuary attracts numerous species of birds and bird enthusiasts will delight in the great numbers of birds soaring above the waters of the Gulf. Grand Isle is truly a natural haven, but just as the beauty and wonder of Mother Nature can be appreciated on Grand Isle, so must her wrath and destruction. Vulnerable not only to seasonal hurricanes, but daily erosion, Grand Isle and its surrounding islands are all constantly undergoing conservation and erosion protection projects. With each bout with nature, the people of Grand Isle learn better how to protect their environment. The Chenier Cemetery is a reminder of this. Buried here are the many who perished in the hurricane of 1893, a hurricane which killed nearly 2,000 people and destroyed most boats and homes. Another cemetery worth visiting is the Island Cemetery, where some of the older tomb inscriptions are written in French. A stroll through these tombs is evidence of the history and heritage that have influenced the culture of Grand Isle. And serving up spicy seafood is certainly part of the culture of Grand Isle. Fresh seafood abounds on the island. Stop by one of the local shrimp sheds on Chenier for a few pounds of shrimp straight off the boat. Or try one of the many locally owned restaurants for a taste of the island fare. A trip to Grand Isle is surely one that will delight all your senses. We invite you to share one of Louisiana's best kept secrets and experience our little gem at the beginning of LA1, Grand Isle. Hi, I'm David Commodore, the mayor from Grand Isle. Grand Isle has a lot to offer, as you've seen. Seafood, right here, right behind me. It's caught daily. Fresh shrimp, fresh oysters, fresh crabs, fresh fish. Fishing is great in Grand Isle. Right here, right behind me, six miles offshore, we have the world's largest artificial reef. My beach, my beach is clean. I make sure that my beach is clean for you, the tourists, to come visit our beach in Grand Isle. And you bird watchers, Come on to Grand Isle. We have the finest oak trees right here in the heart of the island to come watch the birds. So come on to Grand Isle, enjoy the sun and the sand and the relaxing way of life. I'll see you soon. Just across the Mississippi River from Audubon Zoo sits the square mile city of West Wego, one of the only cities whose name makes a complete sentence. Of the many folk tales told about the origin of the city's name, the most popular has to do with the railman shouting, West Wego, as trains pulled out of the station. Nestled amongst some of Louisiana's most picturesque wetlands, 
Southwest Wego abounds with recreational and nature watching opportunities. West Wego is a favorite launching point for many of the popular swamp tours. From here you will enter a world of timeless beauty amidst moss covered cypress trees and the many species of birds and other wildlife that make their home in these swamps. Catch a glimpse of an alligator on the prowl or depending on your tour guide you just may catch more than a glimpse. You'll witness Cajun life firsthand as you cruise the bayous through this active Cajun fishing community. With such a remarkable habitat for wildlife as its backdrop, there is no wonder that so many West Wego residents make their living in these most vital and productive bodies of water. A visit to the nearby seafood market will attest to this. Pounds of huge shrimp, fresh fish, and fat blue crabs are yours for the asking. And a stroll through the West Wego Farmer's Market with its rows of fresh vegetables, fruits, and Louisiana spices is a perfect way to complete your meal. Why not try your own hand at hooking one of the many species of fish that make their home here? You can launch your boat at nearby Bayou Signet State Park. Whether it's an afternoon on the water, or a day of outdoor activities. Bayou Segnet offers 580 acres of fishing, swimming, picnicking, and playgrounds, sure to delight the entire family. And if more than one day with nature suits your fancy, you can camp under the stars or spend the night in any of the park's comfortable waterfront cabins. When you're ready to return to civilization, make sure your first stop is a walking tour of West Wego's historic district. The architectural beauty of a bygone era can be seen fully restored with a visit to Our Lady of Prompt Sucker Church. Stroll down turn of the century Main Street, Sala Avenue, where Martin Seafood Company, one of the oldest canneries, still stands. Here you will see restoration and revitalization plans in progress as Sala Avenue slowly transforms to include two museums and a riverboat landing. Here there will be a restaurant overlooking the river, an amphitheater, a performing arts center, and an outdoor picnic area. To or from the Audubon Zoo will be a quick riverboat ride away. West Wego, the tiny hidden gem bursting with activities and more on the way, is just minutes from New Orleans and waiting to please your entire family. Hello, my name is Robert Billiard. I'm the mayor of the city of West Wego. West Wego is a great place to live and raise a family. West Wego is also a great place to visit. My city council, my chief of police, and myself invite you to visit the city of West Wego real soon. West Wego is building and rebuilding for generations to come. Thank you. The West Bank of Jefferson Parish has much to offer. The communities of Gretna, West Wego, Jean Lafitte, and Grand Isle wish to share with you the lifestyle, culture, and heritage that our residents enjoy. We hope that the historic architecture, the natural beauty of the swamps, and the fun of fishing and swimming will invite you and your family to come and visit.